Uh, good afternoon guys, we're down on a recently completed development in Essendon. Uh, this is a dual occupancy development and we're showcasing this one in particular because it just shows uh, the benefits of uh, building on a corner site and uh, as opposed to uh, the mo more typical uh, dual occupancy which is uh, side by side configuration. Now obviously uh, when it comes to corner sites there are far fewer corner sites in a street than there are uh, frontage sites so uh, the corner sites are sought after very sought after and quite difficult to get but uh, as you can see here the beauty uh, of a corner development is that the two dwellings are quite independent of each other and present themselves as two independent homes in this particular case this uh, the main building here faces one street and as I'll show you shortly we'll walk around the corner and you'll see the other one faces the other the other street. Uh, as far as uh, streetscape is concerned, um, the beauty here is that it presents as a freestanding home and because it's got the full frontage of the block to work with, uh, in a lot of cases we can still get the double garages uh, in, into, the, into, the, into the building. Uh, as we uh, walk a, a, around, um, we can see that um, the, the facade here is uh, quite modern but still picks up on some heritage features which complement the Essendon area. Uh, typically uh, the first floor is uh, a render and weatherboard uh, with a nice uh, traditional uh, brown brick on the ground floor. Uh, as we come around the corner uh, we'll see uh, the, um, the second unit coming into focus now and this one again is a little bit smaller, uh, has the benefit of the full double garage um, and has again its uh, its its own street street frontage and street appeal, uh, giving it the um, the independence of two houses on the one block. This is uh, probably the best outcome for a dual occupancy, as it um, ticks all the boxes as far as compact living, uh, independent, independently attached, uh, detached from each other, and giving the benefits of. Um, a, a, a freestanding home while still maintaining you know, medium density living. Um, if you've got any questions regarding dual occupancy or a potential dual occupancy, uh, please feel free to call us, uh, Renmark Homes, uh, your dual occupancy uh, specialists. Thank you. Just left that um, the, the, the corner block and uh, just heading back towards the office. And here uh, there's a great example of a side-by-side -side, uh, dual occupancy. As you can see, this block is not on the corner. So straight away, uh, you'll find that the two units become uh, a lot more compact in size and maximum that you'll normally get on a side-by-side -side is only a single garage. Uh, as far as uh, aesthetics goes, this is a quite a modern design, but still uh, takes full advantage of the site and giving still a very comfortable uh, configuration as far as uh, accommodation is concerned. If I turn around uh, behind me, uh, there's another, um, probably on a bit wider site, uh, is this side-by-side um, uh, -side configuration uh, where we were, lay or not us, but uh, the builder was uh, lucky enough to get um, two the, uh, to a double garage uh, due to the uh, b the big frontage, uh, a double garage, and then a side by side on top of that. So, um, so there are blocks that you can manage to get the double garage, but generally speaking, uh, we'll find uh, most side by sides will have a single garage. So, just wrapping up, um, there's a two uh, different types of um, dualox, and probably the most uh, two most common that you'll see around Melbourne is a side-by-side -side or the corner block configuration. Again, if you need any further assistance, uh, feel free to contact Renmark Homes, uh, your dual occupancy specialists. Thank you.